get started. Okay, well, my grandfather, he was never lucky enough to own his own place, but he was the chef at a really iconic restaurant in West Texas. His recipes made that place so popular, people still talk about it. I grew up hearing those stories, and my mom had a restaurant, and then we just kind of followed in her footsteps and did it again. It's in my blood, good food and hard work, evidently. <laughs> We make everything fresh every single day. We spend four to five hours every day prepping for a three hour lunch run. You know, bread is seven hours, it's an all day job. We spend so much time washing lettuce for salads, but I'm a firm believer, like if you don't have 30 minutes to wash lettuce, you don't need to serve salad. I time myself really too, cause yeah. like, I'm like, okay, it's 9.51. I need to do this, this, and this by 9.55. It's obsessive. But I think, I think to be good at something, you have to be a little bit obsessive. We just really don't cut any corners. We don't do anything the easy way. We do everything the hard way. I, I think people can really tell that time was spent here and preparing their meal and they appreciate it more. I like making people's days better because even when I'm having a bad day, I can make their day better. When you come in here for your 30 minute lunch or whatever time you have, we just want you to leave here happy and us have added something positive to your day. We love that it rains. <laughs> it doesn't rain in West Texas. Um, we love everything. We love the people. We love the parks. It's, we've always wanted to be part of the Main Street scene. There's always something going on. They do such a great job with their events and everything, and you see people every day and they become family. It's just the human connection thing. Mm -hmm.